if we can replace malfunctioning components of the body with 3D printed parts or stem cell grown organs, we no longer die biological deaths. We die when our life support systems are switched off. <laughs> Welcome to season four of Art and Technology. I'm again joined by pioneer Stellark and artist Neil Harbison. Given that you know each other already, what excites you about each other's work? Well, I think Neil is an articulate proponent and embodiment of a cyborg construct. With the antenna, you can translate one sense into another sense, which is very seductive, as are his numerous artistic outcomes. And Neil, I'd love to hear from you. What, what excites you about Stellark's work? Well, he's an icon for many of us here at the Cyborg Foundation because he's a, a reference for freedom of the body. We've known him since we were at school, at uh, university. We learned about his work and he's an inspiration in the way he treated his body artistically and with such freedom. I would just wonder, Neil, if you have thoughts about our ongoing progression into the present in relationship to technology and where that's going in the future, especially in relationship to art. I think we are slowly becoming trans species, which is breaking the traditional definition of a human. And uh, we will be able to decide which organs and senses we want to have, and that will create trans species identities within our society. And um, I guess now we are using technology like this type of technology, but uh, genetic modification for the addition of new sensors will be more practical. Also, if this antenna can be 3D printed with my own DNA, it will look organic. So I think the, the image people will have of wires and chips and metal merged with a human is something that we might only see during this century, but in the future centuries, it will look much more organic. If we consider the biological body as obsolete but not yet extinct and if we imagine that all living things will eventually vanish then perhaps what we should do is plot an elegant exit <laughs> in other words this is a time when we can hybridize human machine systems we can blur the distinction between biology and technology but perhaps the future of intelligent life will not reside in the human species. Thank you so much. Truly, I mean, it's been really great getting to, to speak to you both today. Thank you. Bye. Thank you very much. Hyundai Motor, connecting art and technology.